August 20th, 1988. Fasula speaks. Jesus. The Lord answers. I am. Beloved, these days Satan is deceiving many by attacking revelations and apparitions which come from me. Had I not come to deliver you, you would have still been in his claws. Believe. Believe in my mercy. Believe in my works. Compare yourself now to what you were before. Had it not been for me who came to save you? I am the light. I have redeemed you from darkness. Fasula, Satan is desperate and is trying to confuse you and bring you all against each other. Realise how he works. He is trying to confuse you all. He knows how my works save many souls, and this is why he wants to thwart my plans and battles against them. I will always be near you. Read Acts 2. My spirit is given from above to many, but as always, some would laugh it off, unable to explain its mysteries. I have said again and again, that I will pour out my Spirit on all mankind, and you shall prophesy. Young men shall see visions. The footnote reads, Usually children see visions in our days. For example, Medjugorje, Fatima, Garabandel. And your old men shall see dreams, even to the least of you. The footnote reads, I, for example... And nothing. I shall pour out my spirit. I will display portents in heaven above and signs on earth below. Creation, have you really understood this prophecy? I solemnly ask my teachers who do not believe in wisdom's works to look for the hidden sense of Proverbs and into the wisdom of all the ancients. They should ask to be filled with the spirit of understanding, which will lead them to understand the greatness of my name. Beware of Satan's traps. I have forewarned you of his malices. My child, I the Lord love you boundlessly, and will never see you lost. Fasola speaks. But Lord, there are false apparitions, even revelations. The Lord speaks. Yes, there are. But very soon I shall unveil them and show that these are false. Which father would watch his child year after year, heading on the wrong route and not warn him? Or which father would see his child cheated and remain silent? Would he not warn him and show him the truth? Would I then, who am love and mercy, remain silent and leave you exposed in those dangers and not try to rush to you to reveal you the truth? Try and understand. The footnote reads, Here God spoke as a very patient father. Fasula speaks. Thank you, my God, for your patience with all of us. Your mercy is indeed great. The Lord speaks. Ah, Vasula, if only they understood this mercy of mine. Come to me. Vasula writes. I felt him like he wanted me to be close to him, so that I lean on him. The Lord says, I want you to lean on me. I want all my creation to lean on me.